Youth and Government, this is your morning anchor, Diane Lake, from the East Valley Family YMCA delegation, home of the Youth Governor candidate, Max Bouvry, here reporting with your Why Wake Up Morning News. Now, this morning is our last morning segment, so we've brought you the best stories. Our first story is a goodbye seniors in Sacramento segment, as well as the weather, and a report on a secret rose garden. And we'll also be covering the schedule here today on our last day at Sacramento. We'll start things off with Angela and her report on the field, getting stories from seniors about their best and most fun Sacramento experience. For many of us, including myself, this is our last Sacramento ever, so we are really embracing the moment. Take it away, Angela. For some delegates, this will be their last Sacramento. Delegates all over California are preparing for adulthood and seizing their time in youth and government. As Sacramento comes to a close, Senior delegates share some of their fond memories. My most favorite YNG memory is probably speaking in assembly for the first time last year. It made me a better person. It made me want to speak up. It encouraged me to run for a delegation chaplain, and I won. And it made me want to inspire other people to make a difference in this delegation, in the San Diego Supercluster, and in all of YNG all together. Uh, my favorite memory here in YNG being a third year delegate would have to be the governor elections last year. Um, just seeing as how Matt take one by one vote, it really inspires me to be able to go out there and just get my voice heard and not to be afraid because every vote really does count. And I've taken so much like life experiences out of this and it's just an amazing program. Uh, the first night when we got here, my best friend and I, Kawhi, were really, really competitive. So we did the obstacle course at the Bounce House. And then we had to jump through the little hole and we jumped through and we were going and then we were going. And then we had to climb this rope, but there were two people already there and we're just kind of like, what do we do? And then they fell and we just kind of hopped over them, tried to climb the rope, and then we fell and both got really hurt and now we have bruises. And then we jumped down the slide and it was a tie. When my homie Matt take one governor and we had like a three person rager that night. God, we saw Titanic and it just hit the fan, man. Yes, in fact, my life changing experience is I got the opportunity to meet Kayla Eaton and she's changed my life. Why do you tell them how, Kayla? Well, actually, that's funny because my life changing experience was meeting Animal Pigeon. And um, we met at Kona and bonded over fried fish. Um, it was quite an experience. Right then I could tell we were meant to be. In other news, I'm going to tell you about the weather. A lot of delegates have been worried about the weather and think that it might be raining when they leave or even today on their last day at Sacramento. Well, rest assured that the high today is 59 and the low is 36. And tomorrow morning, the high will be 59 as well and the low is 39. So it will not be raining, but it will be cloudy tomorrow morning. So if you're one of the delegations that leaves early in the morning, make sure you bundle up. And now for our next story on a secret rose garden. With all the hustle and bustle of our week in Sacramento, a lot of people spend their free time in the security of their own hotel room. But for a change in scenery, consider spending time at the Capitol's World Peace Rose Garden. The Rose Garden was established in 2003 on almost half an acre of land. The main theme of the garden is peace for women, children, and families. With over 650 flowers and 150 varieties of roses, spending some time in the garden can remind you of the simple things in life. Along with the roses, 44 inspirational messages from youth in America are engraved on plaques around the garden. Walkways lead to a fountain in the center and benches are scattered around for anyone to enjoy. The garden is also used for weddings and other special occasions. So during your week in Sacramento, take a stroll to Capitol Park and have a date with Mother Nature. You might be surprised at the peace it could bring. I'm Evan Arani, reporting for YNG TV. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Evan. What a beautiful spot. Since some of you have such ample time on your last day here at Sacramento, make sure you go check out the Rose Garden. Well, now I'm going to give you a full report on today's schedule. A lot of people have been confused because today's schedule is quite different from the past few days, seeing as it's our last day here at Sacramento. Well, 
The appellate court hearings are happening today from 9.30 to 2 at the Capitol, as well as the trial court hearings from 9 to 3 at the Sacramento Country Courthouse. And the judicial hearings are also taking place from 9 to 10.30 in the Supreme Court chambers. So this morning is very court heavy, so don't forget to be on time to your sessions. The Constitutional Convention, Supreme Court training, and the House Presiding Officer meeting are all taking place at 9 o'clock. Board of Education proposal presentations, NIC General Assembly, lobbyist award meeting, and all Senate and Assembly sessions start at 9.30. Make sure you're all on time for those sessions as well. The NIC awards presentations and announcement of opinions in Court of Appeals are happening at 2 o'clock. Announcements of opinions of Supreme Court and judicial review and announcements of jury trial and trial court decisions are happening at 3.30. Closing joint session is at the Convention Center at 5.30 today, and the Governor's Banquet is at 6.45. Remember, if you need any more clarification about these schedules, just go to the office and you can find some extra copies. Also, the Delegation Friendship Session are at 9 o'clock, and the Statewide Friendship Service is at 11.45. As far as the Governor's Banquet, don't forget to look extra classy, but remember, you don't have to be too formal. So ladies, wear your best dresses, and Boys, you can even spruce it up with your tuxedos. Also, polls are officially open in the Regency Corridor at the Hyatt Hotel, but you can avoid the lines and vote online at www.vote.calymca.org. These polls are for the governor candidates, secretary of state candidates, and lobbyist initiatives. Well, youth in government, that's it for your morning news. It was quite an honor serving as your morning anchor for the past few days, and I hope you all really enjoyed your time here, and I hope you all have a fabulous rest of the day. With Why Wake Up Morning News, this is Diane Lake, signing out.